You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop on the road of life. You, you can't stop. You, you can't stop. Moving, keep, 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 keep. Move, move, keep, 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 keep that pace. You switching to gear, let's go. As we climb up the hill, don't slow down. Pedal a little more. The mind is working, it's in control. Your wheels are turning a little more. Going higher and up the notch. Keep it steady, don't watch the clock. Go round, round, cycle, cycle. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How is everybody on Let's Talk Sunday? I turned the volume up a little bit because I noticed that sometimes I think I just be, I be moving around, standing up while I'm talking. But anyway, today's show topic is honor your heart. And this is Adion. I'll be right back. Stop the time, always merging into lanes that better suit us as we ride. Switch it up, switch it to gear, let's go. As we climb up the hill, don't slow down, pedal a little more. The mind is working, it's in control. Your wheels are turning a little more, going higher and up the notch. Keep it steady, don't watch the clock go round, For you newcomers out there, welcome, welcome, welcome to Chronicles of Living podcast show. The show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. Just us extraordinary folks here doing the damn thing the best way we can. And you are listening to your host, Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit, y'all. Because there's a lot out here in this world. And so I just like to help out the best way I can to give you shortcuts of some of the bullshit I had to go through. (laughs) But yes, today's today's topic is honor your heart. Honor your heart, y'all. I believe um, sometime back I had a show um, called Honor Yourself. If I'm not mistaken, there's been so many. I'm on episode 120, yay me. (laughs) And that is because I honored my heart with creating this show. And um, I didn't allow people's opinion and thoughts and judgments to get in the way of what. God put on my heart to do and the way God put on my heart to do this show. And so when I talk about honoring your heart, um, first off, this topic came actually through my sleep this morning. I didn't get no sleep last night. I was um, basically not honoring my heart (laughs) with someone that's very dear to me and on something And uh, I just really couldn't get no sleep over it. And God just was like, April, you are not honoring your heart. You are not honoring your heart. Honor your heart. Honor your heart. Just kept saying it. And I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know why, you know, um, that was being spoken to my spirit. But then when I popped up this morning, I got it. I got it. And, you know, I... Uh, called and uh, left the person left uh, my friend a message and and I told them that you know what I'm gonna honor my heart on this situation I'm gonna honor my heart on this situation and whatever the outcome is so be it you know what I mean and it's so amazing how once I said that and I not only I said it, but in my heart, I really felt like 
once I honor my heart on this situation, whatever the outcome is, whether it's what I want or not, um, I'm good. I'm good because I spoke my truth, you know, and that's what we kind of miss out on in life a lot of times. A lot of times, you know, we can have something that's really heavy on our heart from so many different aspects, whether it be a dream, a vision, a goal, a person, um, a place you want to visit, um, somebody that you feel like you need to apologize to or somebody that you need to forgive, but you you just fighting it, you fighting it, you holding on to um, that that energy that's not serving you. Basically, that's what you're doing. And to those who are just tuning in for the first time and you're wondering like, okay, what is she talking about? What is the show about? Basically, Chronicles of Living is really about us doing things to better ourselves day by day us acknowledging things within our lives within ourselves that we can approve upon and that's what i talk about so that the ending result is we can live out our dreams visions and goals successfully without a bunch of baggage without things that get in the way and and blocking us from the things that God really wants from us. And in doing that, it's, it's so many aspects of life that we need to adjust um, to and that we need to address so many different parts of us and our environment and, you know, our friends and our family and our kids and our spouses that we need to sometimes adjust to or sometimes adjust from or sometimes just simply address you know whatever's going on and so I say all that to say when you're honoring your heart you're just honoring what you know you feel is right rather the outcome is what you want or not because at the end of the day I always talk about how life is really education. You know, it's just we're in this big school of life. That's it. And every day we're going to be faced with choices and situations that we have to either problem solve. We have to, you know, face. We have to jump over obstacles. And it's just always going to be the way you go about it that you're going to either learn from or wind up taking a test again. That's it, you know, until you get it right. <laughs> Sometimes we don't get it right. So we wind up taking the same test again and again and again. And for me, honoring my heart this morning was, I believe, and I believe this is why I feel so good about it, um, was a test that kept coming around over and over again. And a cycle that I was repeating to not honor my heart because of pride, because of my ego, you know. As I always tell y'all, when I talk to y'all about a situation, I'm talking to myself too. Because I love growing. I love to learn. And so, because when you stop learning, you stop growing. That's it, bottom line. You know, you got to be willing to learn so that you can grow and you can become the best version of yourself at the end of the day. That is what life is all about. So I believe that's why I feel so good that I honored my heart um, on this situation today because it's a situation that continues to repeat itself. And God just made me acknowledge it today. And I'm I'm grateful to God. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you, God. And um, so also um, another situation I was faced with, like when you're following your passion and your dreams, you're going to have those people that's going to come in your life. They might be somebody close to you. They might be a stranger. You know, they're going to speak on what you're doing. And sometimes that could come in a negative form or a positive form. And you have to decide 
if it's a negative form, is it constructive criticism or is it just hate or is it just this person just don't get it? You know, one or the other. And when you honor your heart with your dreams and your vision, you'll know how to seep through which angle the person is coming from. And a lot of times the person, if they're coming from a negative angle, they might not even realize it, you know? Like the first book that I wrote that I'm actually uh, revising right now, which is the last book for the series, um, for the um, book series, the three book series that I just published, um, Visionary Dreamer's Life, um, I... I had a lot of people, I'm not going to say, no, I didn't have a lot of people, I'm wrong. I had a few people, let's say that, that had something to say about this book when I first wrote it. Because I kind of just wrote it as a challenge to my son for him to write his book that he had been working on from 8 years old. No, really 13. He started writing at 8, but 13 is when he started his first book, serious book. And at 15 is when I challenged him because I'm like, yo, you procrastinating. I'm going to start a book from scratch and you got a month's time. We're going, I'm going to be done in a month. And so you have to be done in a month time. So it worked though. <laughs> so I really, I wrote on business, what I know, entrepreneurship, you know. So I really in the beginning was not really worrying about promoting that book because I did it as a challenge. But I left the book with a friend, you know. And, you know, at this time I considered this friend, you know, pretty close. And what they said to me, when I left the book, I didn't say nothing about it. And then maybe, like, um, we talked a couple more times, but maybe, maybe about a third conversation I had with this person, I said, so, how did you feel about the book? And they were like, oh, my gosh, the grammar was horrible. I couldn't get pet. Like, just straight off the back, negative, negative, negative. Because this person was a English major in school. And so, sometimes, <laughs> when you think you're smart, you're too smart for your own good, and you don't even realize what you're saying out your mouth. You don't even realize that, um, you know, if somebody that respects your opinion comes to you, now, the way they could have said it was, you know, there were some grammar issues in this book. And since I'm an English major, I would like to sit down and help you. And doesn't it sound much better? I know there's a lot of y'all out there that probably said it the first way <laughs> to people. You know, like you just come negative from the gate. But there are, are so many ways that you can give somebody constructive criticism with love. And they will receive it. And they will be willing to work on what it is that you feel they need to improve upon. And um, so... That was one thing, and thank God that I'm a strong individual because I was like, whatever, you know. Of course, I went back, and I looked it over, and I re-edited, you know. But I already knew that I wasn't the best with my grammar at that time, although I'm improving much, much off came a long way. But the thing was, I asked so that they could give me some uh some tips but once they went there it was like total turn off like from then on out like even with my my two books I have published now I didn't even tell them about it because it's like when you have something that's really heavy on your heart to do and you're excited about it and you share it with people that you think are in your corner and they come off the back negative as opposed to something like, I'll give you the, a, a perfect example, my son. When I ask him, like, when I create the book covers, any type of graphics for something, or I'm working on the website, I'll call him and I'll be like, what you think? And this is his response. He'll say something like, if he has, you know, think that I could do better, he say like, oh, mom, you know what? 
I like it, but I think it could be better. I know you can do better. Why? Because that's how I raised him. That's how I used to come at his neck. When I felt like he wasn't doing his best, I didn't say, what are you doing? You know what I mean? You effing it all up. You, it's people out there like that that just straight go for the juggler. Like, oh my gosh, back up. You know what I mean? Fall back for a minute. And a lot of times... People just don't know how to address someone to pull out the best in them, to pull out their potential, you know? And so we get caught up in not following and not honoring our heart because of probably one person. Because that one person is probably somebody that might be very dear to you. That you might really respect highly. And so because they spoke their peace to you and it wasn't what you wanted, now you, you're not honoring your heart. You stop whatever it is that you were pursuing, you know. And that, that's cheating yourself. You don't want to cheat yourself. Everybody has an opinion, y'all, you know. And Excuse me. Um, and, uh, we have to know which ones to take and how to apply the opinions. You know, another situation was, you know, I realized that, um, years and years ago I was in a relationship and I realized that, you know what, we never was able to be because, we constantly worried about everybody else, what they thought about us, what they thought about, you know, uh, us being together and all of that. Neither one of us honored our heart. We, we were worried about our pride, our ego, and because we wanted to do what we thought was right in other people's eyes. Or we thought we didn't measure up in certain people's eyes that was connected to each other. You get what I'm saying? And so at the end of the day, we robbed ourselves of something that probably could have been really beautiful at that time. All oh, why? Because we didn't stay true to our heart. We wanted to worry about everybody else's thoughts and stuff like that and a lot of times that's what happens in relationships and marriages and and stuff like that um i was watching a movie with my son yesterday and it was called dang, what was it called a was it called asian wedding asian something but it was it was about this asian couple this is the first like asian movie that we've ever watched that was a romantic movie let's say that other than that, it's mostly kung fu and fighting type stuff, unfortunately. But, no, fortunately. But this is the first romantic, um, slightly a little bit of comedy in there. Dang, I wish I knew the name. That's horrible. It was Asian something. But it's kind of current if you go on Redbox. Anyway, this couple, um, the guy came from a very, very wealthy family. But he never told his girlfriend that. They met in New York, I think, uh, at college or something like that. But they met in New York. And the girl, she was a professor. I mean, she was pretty well to do herself, but she was raised by a single mom. It was just her and her mom. You know, they just had a regular lifestyle, you know. So he decided to take her to um, his parents, oh, no, his friend's wedding back home. Now, long story short, this is where the whole honor in your heart almost went astray for both of them and almost just totally ended them. Um, once they went there, the parents were very judgmental against his pick and girlfriend without even knowing her, without giving her a chance, all because why? She didn't come from a wealthy background. So there goes another type of racism, you know, basically. And they made it really hard for this girl. But long story short, again, they almost lost out. And the girl almost just left because she just couldn't take it. And it just bothered her that these people didn't invite her into the family. But at the end of the day, she wasn't in love with the family. She was in love with her man. 
and she almost gave up on honoring her heart why because of other people and that's what we do sometimes y'all we give up because of other people we got to stop doing that to ourselves. I feel so strongly about this because I really, really had a true um, eye opener this morning. A, a true, uh, what, what do I want to call it? Breakthrough. That's what it was. I had a breakthrough this morning about that. You know, worrying about what other people think. I mean, I thought I was over that. Um, and I am. But I guess it was just still that little edge of ego. That needed to be broken within me. And I'm sure it's probably other things that's going to come up along the way. But at least when things show up, like your pride, your ego gets in the way, acknowledge it. Acknowledge it and check it from the gate, okay? From the door. Check it and say, oh no, you're not going to rule this situation. You're not going to pride, ego, step back. Because I got this, you know, Adion is in control of the situation, <laughs> you know, you, this is what you got to do. You got to check yourself. Another thing was, um, when I want to start updating the same book, that's the third book for this, uh, visionary life, um, series, I, because of that person telling me how horrible the grammar was I thought that I needed to get this um student that was really great at um actually it was a co-worker that was really great at uh editing and stuff well not editing but English let's say that because they did uh all of the editing for the social media sites when I worked up when I worked at the uh, yoga retreat so sorry, I'm just in my thoughts for a minute. But they did all the work at the yoga retreat for uh, the emails and the social media sites. So they were really good at making sure that the wording was right. So I thought that, um, yeah, that he needed to help me. So I asked him, I was like, you know, you want to help me? And then he was like, yeah. And in the beginning, it was like he was kind of changing the vibe of the book and the way he was, you know, wanting to word it. And it was all good. I knew his heart. I knew that he respect me and all of that whole bit. And, but it was a day that my spirit just said, stop it. Stop it. No, no. You are going to update this book by yourself. And you are going to fix the wording the way it's supposed to be fixed by yourself. I mean, I heard it so clearly in my spirit. I, I felt it. I, I had to honor my heart. And you know what? I am so glad I did that because that book went from 100 pages to 300. <laughs> it's darn near 300 pages now. I'm still, um, I think I'm at like two. 80 or something like that on the book and I've added so much extra information that's going to help people in tremendous ways so many resources that I would have forgot about if I would have just went with him um fixing the wording and just taking it and publishing it so I really believe that God wanted me to take the book and do it myself so that I can so he can give me more things to put in the book. I, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't honor my heart. Honor my heart when God spoke to it. Because, why? It would have still been 100 pages with the information that was in there. Which is still good information. But, there are a lot of people out there that will benefit from that extra 180 something pages that I added. And that wouldn't have happened if I didn't honor my heart. And if I wasn't able to hear. And a lot of times when you got so much going on in your life and you busy, busy, busy. And sometimes you're busy might not even be beneficial busy. It could just be just busy. <laughs> so you got to 
acknowledge from day to day because we all get 24 hours in a day. So really life is fear to a certain extent because it is all in what you do with that 24 hours. That is the difference from the rich, the poor, the, what is it, the, the medium, I forget what they call medium life people, <laughs> how do you say it? But that is the difference. What we do with our time. Are we honoring our heart with our time? Are we honoring our time? Because as I always tell y'all, we can't get that back. We can't get time back. So know when you give it up, it's important. Know who you give it to are important to you. And know what you give it, I mean, what are you doing with it is important as well. Know that. Know that it's something that you're honoring from your heart to do. Rather it be you work at a, at a job, but while you're at work, you're honoring yourself. You're honoring your heart because this is something that maybe you want to do or maybe not. But even if you don't want to do it, you want to still bring honor to yourself by doing the best job you can do because you never know who is watching and I always tell my kids that. Always be your best when you go outside because you never know who's watching. You never know what opportunity can come your way. So this is why you got to honor your heart, honor yourself and what you do from day to day, you know. Um, I had a girlfriend that she... You know, we were great friends, and we still are great friends, but we almost lost our friendship because I was bringing a hammer down on her one time because she was in the midst of moving. And, you know, if you've listened to my podcast show, you know that I've moved about 51 times in my life. So I know what to do, and I know that, you know, you got to move on everything well, that's how I look at it, you know. Sometimes when other people move, they're kind of too slow for me. So that's what it was. She was moving kind of slow in her situation. And I was like, yo, all you got to do is X, Y, and Z. And she was like, yo, you put too much pressure on me and this and that and the other. And she was like, I, I can't do you right now. And she almost befriended me <laughs> because of it. And we had a talk and I... I had to apologize. I was like, you know what? I'm sorry because, you know, I didn't know. I just get caught up and think like people are wired like me, which I know they're not. And and that was something that I had to work on. And I promised her, I was like, I had to honor my heart because this was somebody I really cared about. This was somebody that I really loved, you know, and I just wanted the best for her. So I didn't mean, um, anything negative by it and that's what I said I said I mean I mean when I said before sometimes people can come off on a negative uh, vibe but they don't really mean it and they don't really know they are until you tell them now when you tell them and then they still want to come off on a negative vibe then you know they just want some hate or they just got issues or whatever but nevertheless I apologized to her and I told her I was going to work on it. And until this day, we are the best of friends and I've worked on that. But it wasn't just, it was a blessing because she told me what probably others wanted to tell me. But that's why I'm your dream pusher. It's just that I'm doing it in a different way where you could take it in at your own pace you could listen to different shows. You could look at the topics and decide which show is good for you, which one turns you on just from the title. So you can kind of slow walk my dream pushing. <laughs> Where my friends and family is like, yo, slow down. You move too fast. I don't know what song that was. I think that was Sesame Street, was it? I don't know. It just came in my head. Anyway, yeah, that's basically... All I have to say, and I hope that I touched on a lot of 
different angles um, about this topic. And that's what I, I do. I, I work hard at touching on different angles about a topic instead of just staying in one lane on it because you know there are people listening you dream um i mean you visionary dreamers out there you're listening from all over the world the universe you know maybe some aliens are listening too and everybody has different situations going on so that's why i work hard at making this show and the topics a broad a broader um, scope as opposed to just staying in w on one thing in hopes that it touches people in different ways. I mean, each part of it might touch the same person and it might be well needed. But nevertheless, that's why I go and try to give you different situations. I mean, work at giving you different situations so that it can fit you, you know? Because it's not a one size fit all. Topics are not a one size fit all. The topic itself might be, but what, how I deliver the topic and the way I deliver the topic might not be a one size fit all if I don't do it on this wider scope like I do. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. I believe that I gave y'all enough examples. So definitely, like, if you got a friend that you're not speaking to, a family member that you're not speaking to, think about why. Why are you not speaking to them? Is it stupid? Most of the time it is. <laughs> and life is too short. So honor your heart because I'm sure that your heart wants to make up with your family member, your friend. But on the other hand, there are some friends and family members that you just need to really just stay detached from. I have a few. <laughs> and that is me honoring my heart still. Honoring my heart, knowing that the person is really mm, not really beneficial to my life. And I don't mean that in a way of, oh, I can't get nothing out of them. But just once I stop speaking to them, the reasons why, you know. And some people might think it's petty or might think it's, it's nonsense. But I'm just a firm believer that, you know, everything happens for a reason and the timing of everything happening is for a reason. And I realize that when you are moving through life, everybody can't go to the next level with you. Everybody um, can't go on your journey, you know, sometimes they got to get off the bus stop, you know, at a certain bus stop while you're going on your journey and you just got to let that be and just, you can still have love for them, definitely still have love for them, but you have to know when to let go of certain people and when to hold tight to certain people because people come and go in your life at certain times, for certain reasons. So, honor your heart if you do have a person that comes back into your life and you feel in your heart that um, it's for a reason. It's a reason why God placed that person back in your life. Hold on to it until, you, until God reveals why. Let's say that. Honor your heart and hold on until God shows you and reveals to you why you know so with that all being said love yourself love your friends love your family love your co-workers love your doggy cat just love 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 everybody i definitely um had a tough month for some reason um just a lot of things just was on my mind and this was very overwhelming. And today, this morning, I can happily say God has splattered or sprinkled his happy dust all over me as I prayed. <laughs> and um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So hopefully you had a great holiday and you definitely found things that you are grateful about and you thank God and you should be thanking God every day and being thankful every day that you even open your eyes because there's so many people out here that don't even open their eyes from day to day 
And so we can't take life for granted. Definitely love, love, love on the people that you know love you. And love on some folks that you feel in your heart need some love. Because some people just need a hug, for real. Some people just have attitudes because they really need a hug. <laughs> so, if you come across those type of people, hug them. Seriously, just give them a hug and tell them to have a nice day. You don't know what that will do for someone. That, can go, that hug can go a long, long way. So, guys... Until next Sunday, I am still working on the um, ADI Your Dream Pusher website. It is almost done for real. <laughs> Other than that, I will put the link. I didn't even get a chance to put the description. I was running behind time. But I will put the link in the show description after I get off uh, for the books. Um, definitely go out and get them. Uh, Amazon.com. You want to buy, well, or either just search up April A. Dion Williams on Amazon.com and my books will come up. You know, Visionary Dreamers, 90 Day Journal, and the workbook, you know, to transform your life, discover your purpose, um, Visionary Dreamers workbook. Definitely, they both can help you out in so many ways. This is things that I've done for myself, test it out on myself. I tested it out on a Visionary Dreamers Club, um, a group of people, and it really helped them. The information and the um, questions and things, the interactive activities in the books definitely helped them out to better who they were and to get on the right track for their dreams and visions. So I've, I wrote both books with those intentions, okay? Um, I'm pretty hungry, y'all. That's why I've been <laughs> pausing a lot because my stomach has been growling throughout this whole show. So I apologize for the little pauses in between, but I'm telling y'all, I'm starving. I'm going to tear something up when I get off. Anyway, so this is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, some real bullshit, y'all. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. Again, remember, you are enough. You are valuable. I am proud of you and what you do because I know that you are doing your best. Even though I don't see you, I know you're doing your best. So continue to do your best. Continue to work on being your best version of yourself. Until next Sunday, I love, love, love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people, about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.